Welcome back to Going Solo. I'm Rick, and this week we're continuing with our final installment of Series 1 of Final Girl with the birds at Creech Manor. So, let's go over special rules. Creech Manor, as you know, has spaces that are uh, single directional, uh, such as moving down from the attic here or uh, going through the windows here. Those are sing single directional spaces. Um, and that's pretty much the uh, extent of Creech Manor's special rules. Uh, however, the birds have lots of special rules. Uh, they don't move as normally, uh, so if any of the cards suggest that the enemy or the killer move, we spawn birds instead. When we spawn birds, we roll two dice, and we refer to this card up here to determine um, how many and where the birds are placed. Uh, our goal is to save the special victims, which don't appear on the board until either <clears throat> either all of the victims are uh, saved or removed, uh, killed, uh, and uh, when they attack, uh, any space with the final girl that has birds in it does an attack, and then any space with three birds has an attack. Other than that, they uh, the Bloodlust track works as normal. They do have a Finale and Dark Power card. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. But if I missed anything, we'll uh, get to it in the game. <clears throat> Our final girl for tonight is Selena. Uh, she requires four victims to unlock her special power, which I can hopefully get because I will be doing my best to save victims. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Bobby Creech ran through the jungle as fast as he could. Jesse Creech followed close behind. In each of their hands, an ancient and evil text. The same book, actually, but in each of their minds, they were the only one carrying it, and their sibling looked empty-handed. Several days earlier, the children had met with a famed archaeologist. They wanted a way to end the curse on Creech Manor once and for all, so Dr. Jones advised them of the cave and its incredible but terrible power, to give one what they wanted most. Bring what you find there to your family's home, then survive what comes. If you do, the curse will be lifted. Bobby and Jesse ran to the lake. There it was in the distance, their ride. The trio sprinted down the dock and leapt into the seaplane that was waiting for them. The propellers were already in motion, and the pilot was already accelerating when Bobby yelled, Go! The birds following them could not keep up with the plane. The siblings cheered and hugged one another. Next stop, Creech Manor! exclaimed Jesse. Okay, uh, so before I forget, there is one special rule for the scenario. Um, and that is the ancient text uh, was held out of the item deck. And I get that as soon as I am in the same space as a vic as a special victim, um, then I can get the ancient text. Uh, there is also um, a special rule that both of the special victims must be saved by helicopter. Uh, so once I get the ancient text, I also reveal the helicopter rescue event card. But we'll get there when we get there. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, event card first. We have Clingy Victims. You must have at least one victim follow you if able. So if I have a victim that can follow me, they have to follow me. So let's go ahead and get started then. <coughs> oh, let's see here. Let's start off, I'd like to get up to three dice, but I'd also need to save victims as quickly as possible. So, let's go ahead and do a walk first. Alright, that is a single success. So we do lose a time, and we move one space. And I will move... Let's see. 
Probably here will be best for me. Um, let's go ahead and do another walk. <clears throat> That's a partial. I don't need the short rest right now, so I'll get rid of it and a focus to turn that into a success. And then I can move. Let's see here. Don't really want to go there. Um, I suppose I'll move this direction. And head for the window. I don't really want to go there because I don't have enough uh, attack power to kill all three of those birds. But I do have enough attack power to kill one bird. So let's go ahead and do that. That is one success. So I take a health and this bird is killed. And uh, let's see, that's all I get for this round. Uh, so let's see, that went down. Another one. Yes, because I did two walks. Okay. So. Uh, let's see, I've got four points. I know I want a sprint. Um, so that's two. I've got two left. So let's take a search as well. Um, that I can hold on to. Um, let's see, the closet up there has the ritual dagger, so that might be helpful. Uh, that might help me a little bit, so I might go for that. But, that's everything I get. And it is now the killer phase. Uh, so, on the killer phase, uh, they get to attack first. So anything, if there are birds in the final girl's space, they attack, which there's not. And any space with three birds gets an attack, but there's nobody in that. So, no deaths yet. <coughs> I'm trying my best to keep it that way. Alright, so then we roll two dice. One is the number of birds, according to this card. One is the number of birds, and the other is where they get placed. A six and a three. I'm going to put this somewhere easier to access so that I can see it better. Um, okay. So, with a three, no, a six, that would put them in our space. So I could spawn three birds in my space, or I could spawn six birds at the nearest search space. I'm just going to... I really don't want to spawn birds in my space right now. So... But I don't think I'm really going to... I also really don't want to spawn six birds. Um, hmm. It's a tough one. Because I don't know what the terror card's going to be. I'm just going to spawn three birds in my space, I think. And hope that the terror card doesn't allow them to attack. Okay. They're trying to get in. Horror goes up. And then spawn birds. Instead of spawning birds as no normal, roll one die and place that many birds on the nearest. Okay. Come on, low number. A one. Okay. So it goes on the nearest search space, which would be, let's see. 
I'm one, two, three, four away from this one. And one, two, three, four away from this one. Two. One, two, three, four, five away from this one. So it's either the closet or the garage. I'm going to put it in the garage, I think. <clears throat> okay. And that is the killer phase. Uh, there's nothing for the upkeep phase at the moment. And nobody was killed, so there's no panic. So we are back to my turn. I'm definitely going to do a sprint. That's a single success, so I get to move two spaces. Okay, so we are all in here. So it would be one and then two, with the two victims coming with me. <clears throat> okay that does take a time okay so I'm going to uh, gain two time and reduce the horror level by two so hopefully I can get an extra dice soon and I'm not in a search space yet um so let's go ahead and do a focus. One success. So I lose one time, but the horror level does go down one. I'll hold on to this card, and now it is my planning phase. So with six points, I'm going to take a distraction for three. I'm going to take a sprint for two. And I'm going to take a close call for one. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four cards. I will take my zero cost. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm not quite at my max hand limit. And then these go back. <clears throat> and that is our turn. Okay. So, uh, now it is the killer's phase. So, there is a single bird in my space. So, I take a point of health. Um, and then there's nobody in either of the three bird spaces. So, we draw another terror card. The birds are attacking. Attack in your spaces and all spaces were birds outnumber victims. So that's just in my space. So I'll take another point of damage. And if no attacks occurred, spawn and bloodlust. But an attack did occur. Okay. And then there's no upkeep and there were no kills. So no... Um... No, what you call it, uh, panic. So we can uh, move on back to the next action phase. All right. So I think my goal at the moment is going to be to get to the closet. So what is the quickest way I can get to the closet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Either way is uh, pretty much the same. So let's see what I can do. Um, well, first. Let's do a distraction. Ooh. Um, I don't want to get rid of my walks. I need my short rest this time. I'll just take the one. 
One is fine. It gets me where I need to be. <clears throat> and I get another dice. Okay, so... Let's first walk. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's see. I can get rid of a focus and I'll get rid of my other walk. To turn one of these into a success. So I can move one space. And then I'm going to do a sprint. Okay, that's a single success. So I get to move two spaces. So one, two, and I'm going to take a short rest. That's a single success as well, so I get one health back. I can buy, uh, we're back to the planning phase. I can buy my cards. I've got five points. So let's see. <clears throat> I'll take a sprint. I think that's going to be a given that I always need to take a sprint card. I will take my zero cost. And, let's see, I've got three points left. I will take, let's see, I'm not in a bird spot, so I'm good there. Let's take a improvised card. In case I need a little bit of extra power in the future. <clears throat> All right. So movement is very important here because I need to save victims. But right now I need to get up to that closet <clears throat> so that I can save, so I can t continue to save victims. All right, so there's been no deaths yet, which is great. Okay. Now. So we're back to the killer phase. There's no birds in my space, and there's no victims in the three bird spaces, so let's roll two dice. Uh, four and a six. So either four in my space or six at the nearest exit. Six at the nearest exit does not sound great. Four in my space also does not sound great. But ultimately, I think four in my space is what I'm going to go for, which comes down to three in my space and one in an adjoining space. Uh, let's see, this one doesn't have any, so we'll put him up there. All right. Then we draw a terror card. The birds are attacking. So, the birds attack in my space. That's three health that they take. Which puts me down to a single... Uh, my final health token, which gives me an extra dice for this round. Or until I get health back. Uh, which I need to do pretty quickly. Because I don't need them to kill me. 
Uh, if no birds, if no attacks occurred, then spawn birds and bloodlust. But we don't need to do that. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, there's no upkeep, and there's no no panic needed. No upkeep. We're back to the action phase. So for the action phase, I now have four dice for the moment. I am going to sprint. This one's kind of cocked, so let's re-roll it. Okay. Let's go ahead and use our close call to re-roll all of these. And we get one success. So, we got something. So I get to move uh, two spaces. One, two. Because again, I want to head for that closet there. Uh, then let's go ahead and weak attack in this space. Okay, that's three successes. Which is a good thing, because uh, we are down to our last health, so that would have uh, really killed us. But we do take out one of the boards. The birds. Okay. Now. What else do I need to do let's go ahead and use this focus card uh, that's a failure okay so we lose two time which means we're not going to get a lot back um, Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so we've got one point. We will buy a close call. And we will take our zero cost. And then all of these will go back over here. Alright. And now it is the killer phase. So, <clears throat> uh, let's see, there's not any birds in my space, and there's not any victims in three bird spaces, so we draw a terror card. It feels hopeless, so the horror increases by two. If there is at least one special victim in play, spawn birds, but there's not, so that's all we get, which is fine. So we lose one dice. All right. Uh, let's see. There's no panic. No upkeep. We're okay. So to start off with, let's walk. Ooh. Close call. One success. That's fine. Then I'm going to walk again. Ha. <sighs> um I'll get rid of focus and improvise to turn that to a success. 
And I get to move one more space. And I'm not going to search this turn because search has a chance of losing me time. Or actually has a guarantee of losing me time. And I don't need to lose time right now because I've only got two points. So, with those two points, I'm going to buy a sprint card. I'm going to take my zero cost cards. And that is all. Improvise goes up here, and focus is another one of those. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So, killer's turn. I did not spawn birds on the last... Yeah, I did. I did spawn birds. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Attacks. There's no birds on my space, and no birds, or no victims in any of the spaces that have three birds. So we just roll two to spawn new birds. A four and a six. Jeez, okay. Four is the nearest exit space. Okay, I'm going to have to do that because I can't afford for three birds to be in my space because I need to save these victims. Yeah. Alright, so we're spawning six birds at the nearest exit space. All of the exit spaces are right here in a row. So they will all get two. One, two, and three. Okay. And then the terror card is, it feels hopeless. And if at least one special victim is play, it's, uh, okay, there is not one, so that's gone. Our horror level is a little high, though, and I don't really want that right now <clears throat> okay I really would like to get the long rest card this time so that's my target that's my goal is that long rest card I would also like to get the distraction card I'd like to get two of the distraction card but I can't right now I do know that um, but since there is no uh, panic and no upkeep we are back to the action phase. Birds are gathering very quickly and I don't like it. I need to kill some. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and search. Ooh. Goodness, okay. I need the short rest. If I stay here for another round, then I can get a better card. Which means I don't need the sprint. And I'll get rid of the focus. to turn that into a success so I can grab that ritual dagger put that right in my hands here so it does an extra damage alright and then I'll short rest this went down once. Yes. <clears throat> this went down one. That is one success. So I do gain one health back. Which means I lose my extra dice. 
but I gained a health pack, so I'm good with that for now. Hold on to this weak attack. That's all I'm doing this round. So now we have five points. We're just sprinting there, no walk. So I'll get the two walk cards back. So I'm going to take the Furious Strike for four. Yeah, I'm going to take Furious Strike for four and a Close Call for one. And of course, my zero cost. <coughs> Okay, killer's turn. Uh, let's see, there's nothing they can do here. So they spawn. Two and six, which puts two in my space. Because I'm not doing the six. And if they attack on this next card, that means both of these victims die. Something is coming through the wall, okay. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, all victims panic. Okay? Any victims that exit through a window are killed. Alright, so all victims panic. So let's start with this guy down here. He panics with a three, so he runs over here. Not good for him. Next one. Panics with a five. Runs over here. That's okay for him. Next ones are the two that are with me. There's no way out. So they either stay with me or they move into the next room. Uh, they stay with me. All right. This one up here. A two comes over here. This one. A six over here. And then these two, a uh, two and a four. They only leave on a five and a six, so they're fine. Okay. All right, so all victims panic. Any victim that exits through a window is killed. None of them exited through a window. Then we have an event card. And our event is pushed to the edge. Roll a die for each victim in a window space. None of them are in a window space, so that's good. Nobody's in a window space except for one of the birds. And then... Okay, yes, so that was the event card. Alright, so nobody died. So that's good. <clears throat> Alright, so that was the terror card. Uh, nobody died, so there's no panic. And there's no upkeep. We're back to me. Once more. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. If I could get down there to keep that one from dying, that would be good. But I don't think I'll be able to. Because I only get, I've only got two walk cards. So I would have to roll three success, or two successes on both of them to be able to get down there. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so. What do I want to do then? Uh, well, I do need to walk. So let's start walking. I do have two birds in here with me. Do I want to leave them? I suppose I'll leave them. Two successes. Okay, awesome. So, 
One. Two. Okay. So I'm in here with three victims. And then there's one victim down here with this one, which I won't be able to get to. Oh, even if I rolled another two, I wouldn't be able to get to him. Okay. So we are going to do another walk card. Uh, that's only one success. That's okay. So two victims come with me into this little room. Hold on to my attacks. Um, let's go ahead and attempt to focus. A partial. Let's do the close call. A partial. All right, so I've got no points to buy anything with. Because I'm not getting, I'm not giving these cards up. I need them. So I've got no no points to buy anything with, but I do get my zero cost. These all go back. And then it is the killer phase. So. Uh, first, the first death means an event happens. Helicopter rescue. There's a helicopter on the roof now. So let me see. Place the helicopter token on the roof of the house. Once during the game, you may move from the attic to the helicopter as though they are adjacent. Any victims... Or Carolyn. Hold on. Any victims or Carolyn with you may be saved. Unless you have saved Carolyn, you must return to the attic. And the token must not be removed. The helicopter is not considered an exit space. So the helicopter is a one-time thing. And since this scenario specifically says that I have to leave via the helicopter, I can't use it until I've got the special victims. Okay. This is not needed. This was a one-time thing. Okay. All right. So now, all right, so that was the bird's attack. Uh, now they spawn a one and a six, which means one bird is going to spawn in my space. And then we have a terror card. The birds are attacking. Attack in one space and all spaces where birds outnumber victims. So, one of the victims in my space gets killed by the birds, which increases the horror level by one. So I really need to get a distraction card this next time so that it doesn't go uh, taking another dice away from me. And if there were no attacks, spawn and increase bloodlust, but... There were attacks, so we're good there. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Somebody did die, so there is a panic from the person in my space. That's a three, which means they run out of my space. Which is kind of frustrating, because I was about to save them. But, whatever. And no upkeep. Okay. Oh, the helicopter's up here now. Boom. 
So the helicopter is up there waiting. All right, well, I don't have any kind of um, movement cards. So I'm going to first take a short rest. One success. Take a weak attack. Ooh, no successes. I really, really need this to hit. Okay, fine. So I lose a health, but I also kill the bird that's in my space. And I'm out of cards. Okay. So, but I've got five points here. So I will take a sprint and a distraction. And of course, the zero cost. And then these all go back. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that means it is the killer turn, killer phase again. All right, so... Uh, there's no birds that can attack, so they spawn one and a two. All right, so a two is any single space, or a one is distributed to any spaces. I'm going to take one for the number of birds and two for the location, which means I put one in any space. And I'm going to put them here. Because there's none there. Currently. Okay. Then we have a terror card. The birds are attacking. Attack. There's no attack. If no attacks occurred, then spawn. Three. Three at the nearest exit. So the exits are already full, so we would just go to the closest adjoining spaces. So we'll, we'll put one here, one here, and we'll change this to three. Three in the ballroom. Okay. And Bloodlust goes up, which means our dark power is revealed. Run for your life during upkeep. Panic the victim farthest from you. If the victim panics to a space with two or more birds, the victim is killed. So we've got something to do on upkeep now. Okay. <clears throat> so. We are back to my turn. Okay, so first thing I want to do is a distraction. Two successes, that's what I like to see. So I gained two time on that one. Then I'm going to do a sprint. That's a single success, but that's okay. So that's going to be one and two to pull these back. Then a walk.
let's see, I got two successes there, so I went up two. Then I did a sprint, which I lost one. Then I did a walk, which I lost one. Okay. No, now I'm doing a walk. So hold on, let me go back. So I did the distraction, so I gained two. Then I did the sprint, which I got one success, so I lost one. Now I'm doing the walk, okay. That's one success. So I get to move one space, which is down into this bird space. Oh no! This was a bad idea. Okay. But, I saved the victims, so I take a search card. And I get to move one space. Which there's only one way I can move. It's going to be this way. Ooh, this is not going to be good for me. I'm about to lose, I think. The only way I could possibly not lose is by getting a double success on this walk. But, I did save enough victims to unlock Selena's special ability. When resolving a search action card, roll two additional die. That doesn't help me right now. So the only way I can not die right now... Wait, nope, I can take a retaliate card. Yes. Okay. So yes, I might still be able to do something here. Alright, so we're going to do another walk. No successes. So I lose two time. Uh, if I lose a health, I can also move a space, but I don't want to do that in case I don't roll enough on my retaliate. So I'm just going to stay where I am. Okay. Now it's my purchase phase. I'm going to buy Retaliate. For four points. Which is all of my points. And take my zero cost. Alright. Killer phase. These birds are going to attack me. So I'm going to... That these should have gone back. Yeah. Okay, so the birds in my space are going to attack me. So I'm going to obviously play my retaliate card. No. Okay. I don't have a close call, do I? No, I do not. So, since I do not have a close call, and it's three damage, that takes all of my health, and that's game over. Okay, so this has been uh, the second session of The Birds at Creech Manor. Uh, so, next week we move on to the Sacred Groves, I believe. And we've only got three more uh, sessions of Final Girl before uh, we will be actually moving on to a new game. So that's everything. Uh, thank you for watching.